Hello YouTubers, Steve here with RV Site to Site. Welcome. Today Rini and I are getting on US 17 South and we're going to be headed toward the Cedar Point Recreation Area which is on the southern tip of the Croatan National Forest. It's also near the Crystal Coast and that will be part two. Uh, we'll show that in another video but that's where all the beaches are and uh, it's a beautiful area, so buckle up your seat belts and let's go. Off to the right here, you'll see a solar farm, lots of solar farms here in eastern North Carolina. Up ahead here we'll see a fire tower and my aunt used to man one of those. She climbed that tower every day for several years. The next road up here to the right is VFW Road and we will take that uh, over to the entrance to the Cedar Point Recreation Area. Uh, see up ahead there's a fifth wheel pulling out. Uh, that's uh, pulling out from the VFW. Some VFWs allow you to uh, park overnight so check in the location where you're headed and they may let you stay there overnight. Alright our turn is coming here on the left and welcome to the Cedar Point Recreation Area. campground entrance is right here on the left. We'll turn in here and I always look for a sign up front here because sometimes it says campground full and I hate to see that. But today we have reservations on site number 16 so I'm not worried about it. On the right here you see an information board so you might want to check with that to see what's going on at the present time. Here's site number one. We've camped there several times. Each site here has 50 amp, 30 amp, and 15 amp hookups. Uh, there's no sewer hookup and no water hookup. Uh, but throughout the campground there's uh, potable water spigots uh, where you can uh, fill up your tank if you need to. Here's one on the right. Here's another water faucet off to the right there. And up here on the left is the two-way road uh, that leads over to the bathhouse and the restrooms. Easily accessible uh, pretty much throughout the park. Yeah, 
and I believe we're coming up on site number 16 I believe it's the one past this uh, RV here on the right and what I'm gonna do I'll pull up here and uh, get in the position to park and uh, while I'm doing that uh, I will also show you uh, a park map here and show you where most things are all right here's a layout of the campground and we came in right here and uh, after we uh, came in here we had to turn right here and of course there's the information center right there and then we pulled on around and here's the bathhouse that I was talking about and that street kind of connects the two sides here we pulled around to site number 16 and uh, there's where we would be for a few days and then uh, we also checked in with the camp host we advise you to do that uh, when you get there and then of course the dump station is right here and uh, you would pull forward a little bit to uh, add water to your tank right here so anyhow so we got set up on our uh, site and uh, has a nice uh, fire ring and picnic table uh, the pole there for you hang your lanterns and real nice paved pad for your RV uh, very level a few weeks ago I bought this grill it's a Coleman uh, gas grill one pound cylinder type uh, but uh, I prefer uh, not using the one pound cylinder so I bought an adapter hose I'll post a link to that below but it makes it easy to hook up to a 20 pound or actually a 30 pound tank if you want to uh, but it makes it really easy and you're not likely to run out of fuel right in the middle of cooking a, a steak. So I did uh, decide to cook a couple of steaks and the only complaint I have about this grill is it just doesn't seem to get hot enough. I like a strong sear on my steaks and cook them quick. This afternoon we're going to get our bikes and ride down to the picnic and the uh, dock and so uh, that's uh, you just simply go out of the campground and turn left and it's just a short uh, ride down there. Uh, here's a nice photo of the dock. Uh, some people were actually out there fishing and so we didn't want to walk out there at that time so I did snap this photo uh, of the dock and uh, then also the picnic area uh, which uh, seems like they've shortened the hours a little bit. Uh, it closes at 8 p.m. but it's really nice and uh, there's no camping allowed here but uh, nice green grassy area and uh, several picnic tables uh, on this spot uh, probably four or five I'm not quite sure uh, but uh, just a beautiful spot to uh, enjoy with your family and then we decided that uh, we would walk out on the uh, trail and we saw these little critters running all around little crabs I, it might be called fiddler crabs I'm not sure uh, but uh, we uh, went across the wetlands there and we would go all the way around to the other side here on this trail. It was the shortest trail, 0.6 miles long. And I'll tell you, uh, it's, it's just beautiful here. It really is. The walkway is really well done. And looks like I'm facing in the sun here, so I apologize for that. The tide was out, so I'm not sure if this is clams or oysters. Maybe you can tell me. Then we continued on the walkway here. Right here we had to make a decision. Do we take the mile and a half trail or do we take the .6 mile trail? Well, that was kind of an easy decision for me. So guess what? I turned right and we are going to take the .6 mile long trail. yep here's another one of those crabs cute little things 
We saw them all over the place. Uh, they were probably an inch or two long, at the most too little to eat for sure. I'm going to be honest with you, I was thinking there for a while uh, that the trail would never end. I can't believe that this is only 0.6 miles long. The people were going from the dock, so we decided that we would spend the rest of the evening uh, out here on the dock just looking around and enjoying the view and waiting for a beautiful sunset. It is really beautiful here. Well, here we go. We were not disappointed. This was one of the most beautiful sunsets we have ever seen. Well, good morning, YouTubers. Uh, the beautiful sunset gave way to cloudy skies again, and we're at Western Park right here. Uh, that building over there, they have art classes and things like that. Uh, I just wanted to look at this because it's only, by the way the crow flies, it's only 1,200 feet from the campground, but probably two miles by road. But I decided to pull in here and fly the drone a little bit and uh, look up here. And as we continued up, we could see the uh, White Oak River out there. And off to the left, you can see Swansboro. We're going to head there next. But a bunch of these houses here. And I would have flown a little higher, but I got to notice that there was an airplane in the area. So I decided to lower my altitude some and just kind of pan around here and look at some of the tennis courts and baseball diamonds and soccer fields and football fields basketball courts uh, if you live in this area hey look if you're camping here run over here this is a public park uh, and you can uh, enjoy it here play some tennis or do a little jogging walk your dog just really really nice here big fields here and then uh, three more tennis courts here it's just a wonderful place so I decided to land we wanted to <clears throat> see if we could go down to Swansboro before it uh, started raining the forecast was for rain today and so we got back on the road on 58 here and we're heading down to 24 and we'll take a right here This is Cape Carteret. So this would be the western side and we're on 24 West now. And uh, well, let's just ride along here. Alright, we're coming into the Swansboro area here and
we're getting ready to cross the White Oak River. Swansboro is pretty much surrounded by the White Oak River and the ICW or the Intracoastal Waterway. Looks like it's going to start raining any minute now, so I'm going to pull in here and we're going to walk down on this uh, boardwalk. I sped up the video here. I know it's a little uncanny, but I wanted to get some photos from here or get some video from here before it actually started raining. Just, uh, I wish the sun was shining, but it's not. And there's some binoculars there or telescope, and I wasn't about to put my face against it with all this uh, stuff going around. But uh, Jones Island Overlook there. We also decided to, well, it did start pouring down the rain. Actually, it started raining before we could get back. Uh, so uh, here's downtown Swansboro, or at least a part of it. I wish we could walk here, but with this rain, we decided not to. So it took a little short drive through here. We also heard about Hammocks Beach State Park, and so we thought, well, since it's raining, we'll ride over there. So here we are at Hammocks Beach State Park, and uh, just a, a beautiful area. Off to the left there is a boat ramp that uh, anyone can use goes out into the bay or the sound. One of the things that we noticed here were the beautiful trees. I mean the shapes of them were amazing. I guess these are called live oaks and they're kind of short and stubby but just take all sorts of shapes. We drove down to the visitor center but decided not to go in because of all the current restrictions and besides it was pouring down the rain but apparently there's a really nice beach here. There's a tremendous amount of parking available. Well please subscribe to this channel and like this video if it meant anything to you and uh, on the next video we're going to go over to the Crystal Coast and look at some of the ocean uh, over there uh, a lot of beaches in that area and so we'll uh, step into the North Carolina Aquarium in Fort Macon so please subscribe and join us next time as Russ would say with RV or TV talk soon